Hello, hello, it's Dr. Chris Raquel and I am back again with a video for today. I hope you all are doing amazingly. Today is day eight, so we're on the second week of our 14 days of change. I hope you all are doing amazingly. I hope this Sunday is bringing you many blessings and thank you all who are part of this. I know that you all are going to have a testimony at the end of the 14 days of change. Let me know how it's going for you. Today's topic, as I mentioned yesterday, it is going to be discipline and consistency. And anyone, if you have any questions, concerns, or if you have a testimony, feel free to share in the comments or you can send me an email, askcrystalraquel at gmail.com. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. So today's topic, dedication and consistency. You are on the first day of the second week of our 14 days of change. And it's so important to understand what it means to be disciplined and consistent. So... There's certain things where we find ourselves being able to be disciplined and consistent. Other things where you might have some difficulty. For example, with me, there's been times in my life where I've had difficulty being consistent in my exercise or things of that nature or even eating healthfully. And for all of you, just so you know, I've finished my exercise for today. <laughs> I just finished my exercise before this video. And it's so important to be able to be consistent and disciplined in small areas of your life because that trickles in to other areas of your life. So if you are finding it hard to be disciplined, let's say you tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to exercise every day for 14 days. And then you decide not to do it. It might be difficult for you to be disciplined when, let's say, you say, you know what, I want to I wanna start a business. You might not be able to get it off the ground because you've already had struggles with being disciplined and consistent in other areas of your life. It's not like, oh, you know, I'm always going to be consistent in this, but this one thing I can't be consistent. No, if you are able to be consistent and disciplined as a person, you can be disciplined and consistent in almost anything. So there's been times in my life where I was like, you know what, um, well, one, I'm not really a fan of sweets and sugar and those sorts of things, but let's say I like chocolate and I'll have it occasionally. There's been times in my life where I just thought, okay, I'm not going to eat any chocolate, any sweets whatsoever, any sugar, it's not good for your body. And I've been disciplined and consistent, consistent with that. And of course, it's helped that I don't really like those types of foods or there have been areas in my life where times in my life where I've been like you know what I'm gonna be you know exercising it's so good for your body um it's gonna help me in my future in the long run and I'm gonna be exercising frequently and I've done that I there were times in my life when I was young when I was a teenager maybe like 15 16 where I would exercise consistently every day or five days a week or 30 minutes or there were times when I was in college and I would exercise a certain amount of times every week. Or when I continued my education, I would do certain um, dance routines or exercise routines at the college gym and where I would do weight training. Um, there was a time when I went abroad and I was consistently doing weight training, I believe pretty much every single day. And I gained a lot, gained not a lot, gained a good amount of muscle. Um, it was so funny because when <laughs> when I first got my, not analysis, but when I first went to their gym when I was abroad in a Portuguese speaking country, I went there and I went to the first, I went to the gym and the person, the trainer who was assessing me, I should say, he, he marked me as muito fraco. That means very weak <laughs> at the start of my assessment. But then later on I was, I was stronger. That was just a side note because I thought it was very funny. I remember when I saw, I was like, what? Very weak. How can somebody mark that I'm very weak? I don't feel very weak, but based on his assessment of what I was able to lift and those types of things. But at the end, I had gained a good amount of muscle and was, you know, in good shape. So basically, there have been times in my life when I've been really good and consistent with things like eating and exercise and those sorts of things. So you need to be able to control those areas of your life. And if you are able to control those areas where you have difficulty, you will be able to control yourself overall. You will be able not to react to people. Like if someone on the street speaks to you a certain way, you're not going to go back and forth with them. You're going to be a calm person. One thing I can say about myself is I consider myself pretty calm. And it's very important for you to be able to consistent with that because if you're consistent in those things, it's going to help you be consistent in, in other parts of your life. You're not going to 
start to like lose control when things don't go your way. That's one thing about me. I guess maybe aside from the time when I, I lost my pet <laughs> and my pet came back. Thankfully, I found my pet later on. I'll, I'll do a side note with that story in a second. But for the most part, I would say a lot of things in life don't phase me. I am pretty calm when it comes to a lot of situations or a lot of stressful things. And I I feel I feel that that is that has to do with being able to be consistent and disciplined in certain areas of your life. And also, of course, if maybe you've been through, you know, stressful situations over time, you get to you become able to handle them more. And if you are able, there were times too. this is not the first time, but there was other times where I decided to do some sort of a fasting and prayer and also exercising every day and that also helped me to become disciplined and more consistent because if you're doing something every day it comes to the point where you're like it's not even a question of, oh am I gonna do this or not or you know I said I'm gonna exercise four times a week so I don't really have to do it on a day I said if I said I'm gonna exercise on Monday Tuesday Thursday and Friday I said I'm gonna do it four days a week so it doesn't really matter let me just skip this day and I'll do it on Saturday oh, okay well I skipped it this week on Saturday so let me do it Sunday for the next week I pushed it up to the next week okay so yeah I guess I did just do three times last week so I guess I have to do five this week oh oh I guess I said three times last week and I said five times this week but then I didn't do the five times I did three four so now I have to do five for the next week so it can go on and on you have to just make sure that you're disciplined and just do what you're going to say say what you mean do what you're going to do you don't want to become a person where you say you're going to do something and the people look at you like oh okay all right because you're not disciplined and unless you are sure that you're going to do something it's best to not even say it like I've said before like when I was continuing with my education I didn't really talk much about it because I don't want to be someone who I say I'm going to do something or I'm saying I'm doing something and then something changes in my life and I decide later on that I don't want to pursue that, right? So that's also one of the main reasons why I don't reveal stuff because I don't know. I could change tomorrow. I don't want to say, oh, I'm completing my doctorate and then later on I don't do it or later on I get tired and I say, you know, I don't really want to do this anymore. I have something else in mind. And people look at me like, what? Didn't you say she was going to do that? Then you go on to something else you start something and you still don't do it it's just best to go forward and do things be consistent in what it is you want to achieve and then you can relay the information once you've already been successful in that because I've seen people where they consistently say they're going to do this or I'm going to do that or I'm able to do this and then they don't do it and then they become known as people who start stuff and don't finish right so you don't want to be that type of person you need to be dedicated and consistent and disciplined in what you do and yes dedication is so important if you're able to be dedicated in all these small areas of your life it's not going to be an issue for you to be able to open up your bible and read it every day it's not going to be an issue for you to pray every day because it becomes part of you when those times when i was exercising pretty consistently i think in 2022 when i was exercising every single day it wasn't even a question and i remember when i finished i think i was doing 30 days and i pushed it off like maybe four or five five weeks maybe no not four weeks maybe like five or six weeks and I remember like I still wanted to continue I didn't want to stop it had become me and they do say that's why I did 21 days of change last time they do say it takes 21 days to form a habit so you try it I would say go for 30 days if you can you'll find like I did after 30 days that you want to keep doing it you feel good with whatever it is that you're doing if if it's exercise you feel healthy even if it's like diet stuff like for me I've never really been somebody who is big on like dieting and like, oh, well, you know, I want to diet. I want to do this. That's not really me. I'm someone who I know what is considered healthy and what's not considered healthy. And I feel like that is how people should eat consistently, right? Not, okay, I'm just going to eat this way to be on a diet and lose weight. No, people need to make it a lifestyle, right? So obviously I've been on my you know, when you're pregnant, you might not, you might have cravings and eat certain things. But overall, like I'm someone who I believe that you should just be consistent in who you are. Don't try to say, oh, I'm going to just eat this way because I want to gain, I'm going to lose weight. I think for me, I actually like healthy food. I think it's better. I think it tastes better because I know it's what's going to, I know it, I know it's what going, <laughs> I know it's what is going to make me healthy. I know it's what's going to make me live long, right? So 
think about those things, right? When you're deciding, like, oh, no, I want fried fish or I want some fried Kentucky Fried Chicken. I want some glazed donuts and all those things. Think to yourself, wait a minute. If I'm consistently eating this food, what are my insides going to be? What is my brain going to feel like? Am I going to be able to function fully if I'm not eating vegetables, fruits, if I'm just eating grains, um, high gluten foods, if I'm just eating a lot of red meat, if I'm eating nothing but any type of meat, poultry, a whole bunch of dairy, if I'm eating all those foods and I have like a very limited supply of vegetables in my body, I don't really get any vitamins, not even from a multivitamin, but vitamins in general from food, you're going to feel not so good. You're not going to feel healthy. Your, your body's going to break down over time. You're not going to be youthful and you're not going to be able to live as long as God would have you live. So it's very important to be consistent. You have to change your mindset around those things. Occasionally, of course, I love sweets. Um, I <laughs> I just had a Reese's Pieces cup today. My mom gave me one. <laughs> and yes, I do love sweets. No, not love sweets. I do like chocolate sometimes. But that's not something to where I'm like, oh, I, you know, I, I need this. There's some people who they'll go to the store and put on their grocery list. Hey, I need cookies. I need sweets. I'm not that type of person, right? I think about healthy foods and I think that's where our mindset needs to be. Our mindset needs to be like, okay, well, I want... I want this food, but let me think to myself, what is it going to do inside my body? Is it going to do anything for me? For instance, like me, because I don't really buy sweets and those sorts of things, when someone gives it to me, I, I usually eat it just because I don't really eat it. And it's like, oh, wow, this is a, a sweet. Let me let me try it. <laughs> but I don't eat candy or anything like that. But let me get back to the point of this video. Be dedicated. Dedication is so important. Dedicating yourself, it speaks to who you are as a person, whatever you're dedicating yourself to, whether it's work, whether it's your future, your vision, whatever it may be. Be focused, be dedicated, be consistent in who you are because you don't want to be that person that people are looking at. Like, oh, that person's that person goes from one side to the next. They can be pushed to and fro. I can convince them to come over my side. I can convince them of anything. People can convince them of any, anything. They're not strong in who they are. They don't have any convictions. You don't want to be that person. I know it talks about being strong in who you are, but that is all related to this as well. Consistency, dedication, and being disciplined. When you're disciplined, you may be somebody that's been called strong, you know, or you may be somebody that's been called stubborn. Be disciplined in who you are. It's better to be disciplined than not. You don't want to be looked at as somebody who, when somebody tells you something and it may not be good, you know it's not a good thing, you know it might be against your beliefs, but because they tell you it and you know you don't want to hurt their feelings, so you go along with it and you say, that's okay, go ahead and do it. You know, no big deal, whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy. It's all right, whatever makes you happy. It could be someone, they may could be doing something that might damage them, right? They're like, you know... I'm not really comfortable. I don't like my teeth. My teeth are, are, are you know, I feel like my teeth, they don't look that good. I, I know they're pretty straight and everything, but I just want like a, a perfect smile. I want teeth that look like the, the movie stars. I know my teeth look fine. I've always been told I have a great smile, but I want, I want a different set of teeth. You may have to be the person to tell them like, hey, you know, like your your teeth are perfect. You were created perfect. Your your smile's great. You've been to the dentist. They told you you have a A1 smile. You don't need braces. They, you've done whitening before. Why would you want to put these things over your teeth? There's a lot of different things that have come out about putting on veneers and what it actually does to your teeth health. And you may end up having a halitosis type of breath. You may have to tell that person that. <laughs> like it doesn't mean... Be strong in who you are. Don't just let someone think that whatever they say, don't let people think that they can tell you anything that you're always going to be on their side. Because sometimes people are looking for a sounding board or looking for somebody who's going to be able to tell them if something's right or wrong or if it's a good idea. Or you may be somebody, let's say you're like my size right now. What if I come to you and I'm like, you know, I believe I would like to get a bbl surgery i want to get bbl surgery i i haven't been working out in the gym at all and i'm considered the doctor told me i need to lose 40 pounds to be healthy and to no longer be overweight it's not my case but i'm just saying 
and you, I go to you and you tell me, yeah, go ahead, get the BBL surgery. You, that'll get you right, girl. No big deal. When, what I need to hear is, hey, you're not morbidly obese. You are still able to exercise. Why not instead of doing BBL surgery, why don't you go to the gym? Why don't you, what, what are you eating? You need any help in terms of what you're eating? Oh no, you're good on eating. Okay, so let's get you in the gym. Why not start exercising? It's going to be healthy for your body, healthy for your mind. And if you want to maybe make certain areas of your body smaller, if you want to cinch your waist, there's a lot of workouts that you can do to do that. It, it'll take some time, but I don't think it's good because we don't really know what happens to people who get BBL surgeries in the long run. We've seen different celebrities end up having to remove their shots that they put in their buttocks and it may not be a good look when you're 80 or 90 years old. So why not try to do this versus somebody saying, yeah, go ahead, girl. It's going to look amazing. It's fine. They just suck your fat on and put it here. So <laughs> you really want to be somebody who's not going to be tossed to and fro. Make sure you stand on who you are. Tell people the truth when they need to hear it. Be consistent. Be dedicated. Be disciplined. And you're going to become somebody that people go to for support when they want to answer to a situation that's going on in their life. So I hope... You all hear what I'm saying. Let me know if you have trouble being consistent or disciplined in what you do. Or let me know if that's one of your strengths. And I want to go in my little book and explain what our topic for tomorrow is going to be. Our topic for tomorrow. It's understanding and peace. Peace and understanding. So that'll be our topic for Sunday. So get ready. Make sure you are reading your scriptures. You are reading your Proverbs for each day. So today is the 19th. Read Proverbs 19. The chapters are really short. One thing I love about the Proverbs is that it really shows you who you're supposed to be. It shows you how you're supposed to behave, how you're supposed to live your life. And yeah, read that and make sure you're praying for your three topics that you selected for the 14 days of change praying every day morning and night as well as doing your exercise every single day of 20 minutes moderate or high intensity exercise or 30 minutes or more of low intensity which would be like a slow slow workout or a short walk bye